guys, it's Lauren Messiah, your personal fashion stylist here. And guess what? It's the last video in the Style for the Ages Work Edition series. I know, can you believe we're at the end? Well, we are. If you missed any of the other videos, please go back and check them out. We've got 20s, 30s, 40s, and right now, this video is for women in their 50s who are still kicking butt in the workplace. So I prefaced this in my last video for women in the 40s um, when you're like, Lauren, you're not in your 40s, what the hell do you know? So now you're probably like, really, what the hell do you know about being in your 50s? But again, most of the clients that I work with are a bit older. Like I have a really wide range of age groups, sizes, industries that I work with. So I know a few things, okay? And the thing that I've noticed about women in their 50s and the thing I love about women in their 50s and even beyond that is you're like old enough to do some like kind of cool shit that maybe you couldn't have gotten away with in your 40s. Like I feel like 50s is when we've kind of surpassed the try hard phase and entered into the like, I'm here to stay. <laughs> I'm here, I'm in my 50s, retirement is for suckers, I know my style, I own it, and now I kind of have like my thing, whether it's like big quirky jewelry or a crazy scarf or a really bold lip color, like this is when you can really play with having like a signature thing and it just works. Why? Because you're oozing sophistication, like you just, you nailed it, you've got it, so now you have a lot more freedom. I think about one of the women who I just, I, I love her so much, I love you so much, you know who I'm talking about. She's in my virtual styling um, program, Personal Style University, and she's in her 50s, and she is like literally the most sophisticated person that I've ever seen, ever. And she can wear boyfriend jeans, and she can wear things that women in her 20s would wear, but because she really knows herself in her style, she has that sophistication to pull this kind of thing off. So if you're in your 50s, I encourage you to start playing with different things that maybe you would be too afraid to and work them into your sophisticated style. Because now you're like OG status at work. Like people see you and they're like, better straighten up because she's like major on her game. So with that being said, let's work into some looks. All right, women in your 50s. Here we go. So one thing that I really like is playing with color and playing with kind of over the top jewelry. So let me, let's put this down for a moment. We'll start with this top. Again, this is a Veronica Beard. I love Veronica Beard. I think she works really well for a variety of age groups, just depending on how you style things. That's another point that I'd like to make if I haven't already. In the free ebook, which I hope you download, it's below this video, it's called Style for the Ages, I do give you brand recommendations per age group, but if you really learn how to style things, this brand could be for a 20 year old, 30 year old, 50, 60, whatever. It's about how you style it. So this cute top, bold color, which I love, it's a jewel tone, universally flattering, especially for older skin. You don't want to wear things that are too harsh and this, it will just make your skin look beautiful. So this top and then adding like a really cool necklace to it. This necklace is from Nordstrom. Oh my God, it's on sale. It's 30 bucks. Go out and get it. With a pencil skirt, right? Again, like this kind of could work for any age, but what I like is adding that bit of sophistication. I like adding some sophistication with like a really nice camel coat. This just says like, hey, ready to work, let's do this. And it kind of tones down the youthfulness of this little like ruffly peplum. And you just kind of own it, it's awesome. And if you were tired of this necklace being blue, you could flip it over and then it's just gold. So I love this. And again, the same rules apply as when you were in your 40s, like add your slam and work bag, add your awesome like Manolo Blahnik Prada Louboutin shoes. 
because you wanna have those anchor pieces of like, I've made it, take me seriously, money worked into your look. It may sound silly, there might be some eye rolls behind this video, but I'm telling you, those little things make all the difference in the workplace. Let's see another look. All right, so to me this says like, you're the coolest older lady on the block. <laughs> and this whole jacket is like giving me Chanel vibes. It's giving me a little St. John vibes, but it does have that current look because again, we don't want to look like I'm super out of touch dinosaur lady. We want to look cool, but we want to look age appropriate. So this is Rebecca Taylor, which means it's much more affordable than Chanel, by the way but it's still got that sophisticated look. We add pearls, a really simple white blouse from Vince, and then these wide leg Stella McCartney trousers. So super put together, super sophisticated. We do have a little personality with a more youthful jacket. The colors are fun. So I think this is perfect for a woman who is in her 50s and beyond dresses we can't forget about dresses i this one might be i'm just showing you as, as an example this is my dress i'm not 50. Uh, i would definitely go a little bit longer but i wanted to show you the idea something with a nice thick fabric is always flattering to an older woman um, very sophisticated with the longer sleeves but again adding some interest with some buttons and with some details you don't have to dress boring just because you're in your 50s so something like this a little bit longer with a really fun shoe like we could even do a little blush shoe to kind of lighten it up so we're not just like all black way too serious that's really fun as well and I also wanted to show another trench option like that camel coat is definitely more suited for winter but for spring like having these go-to coats I love having great layers coats jackets because you want your whole look to work all the time whether you're walking out of your car, into the office, rolling into a meeting, everything's top to bottom. Like when we're younger, we will wear like a totally fly outfit and some hideous like little puffer jacket over top and we can kind of get away with it. But when you're older, top to bottom pulled together. And I love the idea of working in silk scarves. If you haven't messed with silk scarves yet, please do tying it around your neck, turning it into a belt, you know, tying it to the handle of your handbag, especially if you splurge on like an Hermes scarf. Um, this one is Versace. It still gives that Hermes vibe. This is very sophisticated and it's a nice way to cover up any, any areas that make you feel uncomfortable. Like I know a lot of women in their 50s feel a little self-conscious about their neck. So like tie it, in a great little neckerchief and you know wear a beautiful blazer with it it's a really nice accessory it's an alternative to a necklace and i think it's perfect for you so check that out so those are my outfits for women in their 50s remember sophistication with a pop start honing in on your signature accessory scarf color something that's like that is so, you know, enter name here. And then keep with like the baller accessories, the shoes, the bags, you know, wear, wear your expensive jewelry out. You, you worked for it, let's do it. So those are my tips. If you're a woman in your 50s and you have fly style, please tag me on Instagram so I can see your outfit. At Lauren Messiah is my handle. And if you haven't already, download the Style for the Ages ebook. It covers all of these age groups with brands, icons, and various tips for you to follow to dress your very best. I certainly hope you enjoyed this style series, and I will catch you guys next time when we'll be back with fashion questions.